YouTube, what is up? Faros here with some more Gears of War 3 gameplay. We got a TDM quick match on Overpass here. And uh, this game was from a couple days ago. I, know, I feel like I say that every video, but I don't. Um, I like stockpile video uh, files, and then uh, once it's been a couple days since my last video, I end up commentating one. But, um,. So, I don't remember exactly how this match goes, we're about to find out, <laughs> but I remember it was a really good match. Uh, I checked out the scores before I decided to commentate, and then yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, that's the match, we did that, so. It was me and my buddy Steve, whose gamer tag is BearThorCog, and uh, then my buddy, buddy Alex, who's Colonel Sanders, and we just had, like, phenomenal team play, if I remember right, this game. And our other two teammates on our team, like, didn't do jack, but <laughs> we pretty much, like, not to rag on the other guys, but we just pretty much 3v5, so I remember it being a pretty sick game. So right here, I'm just, uh, if you guys, like, I can try to give strategy and stuff, like, what we do when we're playing Gears. I don't think I've gave too much strategy yet, but, uh, so I'll go ahead and try that for a change. A lot of the times, I, I can't believe I didn't kill that guy. Most of the time I would have killed him, but, um, on this map... It's like super crucial to rush the rush these stairs I'm on now, rush and get top control. Like a lot of people hate this map, and I understand why, because it's it's like it's really just a race to the top. Whoever gets top control, whichever team, like has a huge advantage on this map. Because uh, you know you can see the whole map, and if you feel like camping, you know like you're in a really good spot to do so. So if you get behind, you can camp top. If you're ahead and you want to hold on to your lead, you can camp top. It's just, it's kind of a lame map in that regard. But I mean, if you don't do it, the other team's going to. So, it has to be done. This is a really good spot right here. Because the only way people can get to you is up those two sides. So you can just, uh, I think this is a nice spree right here, if I remember right. Yeah, there's the double. Do I get a trip? Yeah, I get the trip. <laughs> so these guys are just lining up for me there. But, uh, like, that's what I'm talking about. They have to come up at you in that spot. And they don't have to run at you like that, obviously. But uh, a lot of the times they do. So you can get some nice sprees going on. Uh, just if you have top control. And like you guys see there, it doesn't take much. Like, I was the only guy up there on my team. Uh, most of the time we do have a little better communication than that. I'm surprised I was the only guy up there. But it ended up working out. So, like, I'm not complaining. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so if you guys are ever playing with your friends and you get overpass, t don't worry about boom shot. It's not even an issue. Don't worry about torque. Play smart, rush top. I mean, and then it, even if they get those power weapons, just play smart once you're up there. Uh, if you're really, like, desperate for wins, that's that's definitely the way to get it on overpass anyway. Uh, I think it was trickier when Mortar was on this map. Like, they took Mortar out and replaced it with torque, I'm pretty sure. Oh, excuse me. Drinking this protein shake here it makes me like burp every once in a while. Sorry about that. And my door just randomly closed. I don't know what's up with that. I thought it was already closed, but anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I think it was harder when uh, Mortar was on this map. I don't know why they took Mortar off. Because you could get Mortared like where I'm standing right now. But they took it off and put it on Torque. Like it's... I, I think it made the map even worse. But I don't know. And yeah, Hammer versus Godlike just because of that. Like that wasn't even showing as strong as hammer burst could be you get an active with hammer burst and some dude doesn't see you you can down him before he can react and hammer burst is such a sick weapon especially for maps like this uh, love the hammer burst if you guys try using that i know a lot of people just use lancers but um if you guys see like the active is a little tricky to get you see me mess it up right there it, uh, I, I don't think i had been using it too long at the time of this video i'm better at it now Sometimes you gotta active early like that. See, like that was a, well, that was a bot, too. But regardless, <laughs> like uh, I think I made right there because the dude took right down. But anyway, like uh, sometimes you active early if the dude's gonna get out of your line of sight. You wanna try to hurry up and down him. But if you have time, definitely go for the actives on the hammer burst. It's one of the most crucial uh, active reloads in the game. I think it totally, totally changes the weapon and gets so much stronger. So, I mean, there's the first round right there, you guys, and that's just a, a dominating round by us. Like, we're getting tons of kills. I just held top the whole time. The other team did not know what the hell to do because they didn't have top control. Uh, my two other friends just ran around fucking owning, and the other team's, like, stuck on the sides because they can't get up top just because I'm there. So, uh, even if your team isn't helping you get top, definitely try to make a conscious effort to take it. 
every time on overpass. And see, like, I'm the first one up here again, and these guys just can't get up. And there was even three of them initially, but especially with hand reverse, dude, if you get up there early, I mean, you run your ass up there, top priority, and you're just shooting them as they come up, they can't get to you. It's a period. They, they can throw smokes and stuff. I, I, I fucked that up. I don't know if I should have uh, aimed around the corner like that. I probably should have waited until he got on me and blind fired. And I maybe wouldn't have traded there. I might have just got a clean kill. But, uh, yeah, also, uh, it, did you guys hear the uh, enemy reinforcements? Like, did you hear Hoffman say that? That, in case you don't know, that's how you know the other team's switching spawns. Like, a lot of people don't know that, apparently. I don't, I don't know. I was told it, you know, pretty early into the game. But some people, like, still wig out. Like, oh, they spawned behind me? How the hell did that happen? No, the game definitely tells you every time the spawn flops. So, uh, listen for that while you're playing. Uh, it'll, no matter what team you're on, uh, Locust, uh, whatever, it'll always say enemy reinforcements. So, when the spawns flop, but... I go for a double there, try to avenge my buddy Steve, but it just it doesn't happen. I think like that grenade that he threw lagged, and that was that was some crazy shit right there because uh, that kind of shit never happens to that guy. So <laughs> he'll probably be mad. It's even in the video. <laughs> he'll be like, "What the fuck, man?" <laughs> Sorry, Steve. I I I don't edit these gameplays, man. I and I, I told my viewers, dude, that that shit never happens to you. So that's just a rare occurrence there, and that shit never happens to me. I don't know how the guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't. Uh, down him. I shot him point blank with Nasher there, but that's that's Gears of Wars for you. It doesn't matter though. This still a good gameplay. This uh this round isn't as good as the first so far. I don't think I'm not doing anything too impressive, but I think it we stepped back up. Like we're behind right now. I almost get down there. That was pretty stupid. But uh, as you guys see, it's two seven right now, right now, and they have top. So we're we're sort of panicking. This is what happens when man, Alex got the torque kill there, so it's okay. But. I didn't get picked up. <laughs> but yeah, this is what happens when you lose top. I mean, you can see every time I come out of spawn, I'm getting shot out the ass. So that just reinforces even more, like, how important top control is. They're having their whole team up there, though, so it's it's real bad. And they're just trying to camp that lead. Steve gets a good double with his nade there, gets us back into the game. I, I try to uh, take top once he does, because he cleared out two guys up here, and then there's just one left. I'm trying to Nash him down and miss a shot and get the second one. Pop shots with Nasher are pretty sick, you guys. Like, they're all hard to do. You gotta find a sensitivity you're really comfortable with to be able to pop shot like that, I find. And, like, when I play around with my sensitivity, it totally screws up my Nasher pop shotting. But I think it's a lot more effective when you're at, like, mid range with Nasher than just trying to blind fire all day or just running at him before you try to blind fire because you take shots on the way in, so, uh. Don't be afraid to try to pop shot with your Nashers. I, I definitely suggest, um, I know I'm not the best player in the world, so, you know, um, these aren't like super pro tips, but I would definitely suggest trying to get your guys' pop shots down. And I, so I'm trying to bait into Steve's grenade right there, and I forget if we, like, salvage this round somehow or not, dude. <laughs> that guy gets taken down by the trap. Now it's pretty much, well, now it's 2v6. He gets another grenade kill, but this is not looking good. No, I think, yeah, we actually lose that round. It, it just shows, man. Top means so much. I, I can't stress that enough. Top means everything in this game. Right now, I'm only 8-5. I know that's not, the, that's not the best score in the world, but uh, it, it gets better. So just hang tight for a little bit. Let this next round go out and uh, before you're disappointed. That's, it's just all about top control. And again, like, people go for grenades and stuff. I don't know if that's really the best idea. Because you see, I get up there, but I, they're already ahead of me, so I have to back. And if people didn't go for grenades, uh, I might not have had to. You know, I might have had team support. We would have already had top right now. So, uh, I know the first round I did take it solo, but I think I got a spawn to where I was, you know, like, this was really dumb. You guys never rush for your shields, unless the other guy's real bad. That was just a horrible decision. Please learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I'm putting out videos to show you guys mistakes, <laughs> so I can do them and you don't have to, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, that, yeah, like it kind of sucks if you're the guy trying to take it and you get a spawn that's not close to the stairs on this map. Because like, this round I got spawned, you know, like on this side, but like boom shot side. And if, if the guys uh, closest to uh, closest to top, closest to stairs, don't go stairs, the other team's going to get it, hands down. So you always need that guy to go. So you, 
It's, it sucks if you got your randoms on that side and then they don't take advantage of it because then you pretty much lose it unless you get there and make up for it with your whole team. Right here I'm just trying to keep boom shot pinned down which is you know I guess a pretty effective strategy getting them to waste shots. He, he was going for a headshot there I would have just ducked if it was coming at me but he missed pretty bad so I just stayed up and kept shooting him. But uh if he would have shot the cover even right in front of me I could have just ducked and I wouldn't have died so. You can like effectively bait boom shots in this kind of scenario, it's, it's no big deal really. And then he smokes so I pull out my Nasher just in case he rushes me with any sort of assault off or anything. And I'm just throwing shots in there because I want to get ahead if he does rush me and I don't see him. You can put TACCOM on too, but... Um, yeah, so I effectively made him waste one boom shot. No, nothing too uh, fancy, but every little bit helps, you know, that could save my team from one kill or so. This guy is, this is pretty lame. I don't know why he took three shots to kill. I mean, he had spawn protection in the first one, but still. But yeah, I mean, sucks for the other team that got that guy uh, AFK in right now. I don't think he AFK'd the whole game. I think he was just AFK a minute, but still pretty lame. So I realized my team's got top at this point after I messed around with Boomshot, tried to keep him pinned for a little bit. And I come back up here, and you guys hear again, oh, we got enemy reinforcements. So I start looking on this left side, because I knew they were spawning on the right side previous. And uh, that, that's, that definitely helps. Like, once you start realizing little things like that, you'll just be a lot more aware of, uh, you know, the pace of the game, and you won't get surprised as much. And I feel like a lot of the deaths in this game were just people getting surprised. People getting spooked, getting flanked, not realizing it, having no, like, awareness of where the other team is. And if you can just be consciously aware of what's going on with the other team, I think you'll stay alive a lot more. That's my little two cents there. Uh, yeah, so we're just holding top again. I don't have the best score of this game, but I just really wanted to up. Like, I have a decent score by the end of it. Because, you know, I hammer burst some kids down like that. And there's the actives. Now, watch if I. I forget if I active somebody down here or not, but I, I might. If I do, I'd probably do it quick. Almost shot that dude's hand off, you know what I mean? But, uh. Yeah, I just wanted to showcase how important top is on Overpass for all you maybe new Gears players. Uh, it's just huge, man. This is. Like I said, a lot of people don't like this map because of this, but uh, it's something you should definitely use to your advantage because everyone else does when they play here. So. So that shows you how quick you can down somebody with hammer first. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I think I had a teammate uh, shooting at him too, but I mean, still, that's that was fucking quick. That was before the guy could like get back behind cover. So pretty sick. I probably should have spotted that guy right there. If you guys don't know, yeah, I, I spotted him that time. You can spot by when you're aiming at a person. So you've got your cursor over them. You're like left trigger aiming at them. You can click down on the left thumbstick and it'll spot them. And it puts a little beacon over them. And that's really cool because let's say they smoke or go behind cover or anything. The beacon stays up for a couple seconds. So you can see if a guy goes into cover, you know, goes through a smoke, whatever. You can keep, like, keep tabs on them for a little bit. You get scorched down. I fucking love the scorch, you guys. That that weapon has so much stopping power. It's not even funny. But anyway, spotting like uh, that's super, super useful. So you guys definitely spot for your team. Uh, and yeah, if you didn't know about that, it's just clicking down the left thumbstick, and it, it's a huge help. And you get medals, and uh, I think there might even be an achievement for it. So I end up going 12 and 6, 12 9 and 6. Um, not bad, 2 to 1 KD. Not not the best. Like it's not you know fucking pro, but um, had some decent clips in there. My my buddies, uh, Alex and Steve, did really, really well. They both scored higher than I did, but um, I thought that demonstrated really, really good top control for most of the match anyway. Like, they went 15-6 and 17-6. That's just beast mode. But, um, yeah, I wanted to get some uh, gameplay out for those guys so they can see themselves play a little bit. I wanted to show you guys how important top control is on overpass and... Um, yeah, and I thought that demonstrated some pretty good team play. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want uh, more little tips like this in the videos or if you'd rather have me talk about, like, random shit or anything like that. You know, both are fun. I like talking about the game, but sometimes I like trailing off on stuff too. So for now, I, I guess I'll just do whatever uh, comes naturally. But if you guys <laughs> specifically want me to talk about anything during the gameplay or if you'd maybe like some music or um, 
any constructive criticism, leave it in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, favorite it, and uh, let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. And also, I think Battlefield 3 just came out today, actually. Today's Tuesday, the 25th, and if I'm not mistaken, it came out today. And then Modern Warfare 3 is coming out soon. And I wanted to ask my subs, uh, the 80 or so review that we got now. Fucking awesome, by the way. 80 subs is sick. Thanks, all you guys, for being here. I totally appreciate it, and uh, I totally appreciate all the likes and comments. Like, you guys keep me going, so that's really cool, and thank you for all being here. But I wanted to ask you guys, uh, what games are you playing right now? Leave that in the comments below, too. Let me know if you're going to play Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3 or... Uh yeah, let me know what's up with you guys, and maybe we can get some games in sometimes. I know I've been mostly just putting out uh, Gears videos lately. I haven't put out much WoW videos, to be honest. Like, I got super bored a while again. I log on and hang with my guildies every once in a while. I'm trying to keep our little tight-knit community going, and then maybe once Star Wars comes out, I'm going to try to... Uh, there's some people in the guild who want to play Star Wars, so I'll probably be pumping out MMO videos again uh, come late December when Star Wars Old Republic comes out. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. But, let, yeah, let me know what uh, games you guys are playing and what games you're going to be playing later this year, maybe early next year. Let me know if you'd like to get some games in. Tell me how you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, later. <laughs>